I'm here today to walk you through um, a really fun little eye tutorial and um, it's kind of in part with obviously the uh, review and swatch video that I just showed you guys but I wanted to show you a really fun eye makeup tutorial with the new Kat Von D, the Mavita Loca palette and I wanted to just do a nice eye combo and then a fun cheek highlight and a lip. I already have my foundation concealer done, I'm baking, my brows are done and then I already did one eye. I didn't want to make it redundant but I really wanted to show you guys how much fun this palette is and how many colors you can use to create a really fun bold look so uh, let's get started first and foremost I'm gonna go in with my NYX jumbo pencil this is the milk color when you're working with really bright eye colors to do a white base on the bottom actually really helps to make the colors pop make them more vibrant and let them sit better on the eye I already primed my eyes with some concealer as well and then I'm just gonna go in with this um, NYX jumbo pencil and then we're gonna just actually kind of spread it out with our finger to make it kind of flush with the rest of the eye and since I have nails and I can't really do like the edge, I'm to ensure that the edges are kind of smoothed out. Okay, like so. Easy enough, right? And the first color in the palette I'm going to go in with is actually, I'm actually going to clean my brush first. My brush is kind of dirty. My own fault because I already did one eye, so. You live and you learn, kids. All right. So I'm going to go in with um, this nice brown color right here called Noble and I'm going to pick that up on my Makeup Forever shader brush so any transitioning transitioning shader brush you want to use and we're just going to actually buff that in the crease just again to help kind of have that white meld and blend better into your skin. Super easy, just buff it back and forth, nothing crazy. Call it a day. So then we're going to go in with this beautiful color right here. This is in Synth. It's like this awesome really vibrant true cerulean blue it's oh my god it's beautiful i'm actually just going to start tapping that in the outer corner and then bringing it up into the crease look how pigment so pigmented dude so pigmented and then you want to just start shading back and forth and then buffing it down onto the lid and the thing with these colors is to make them all blend together seamlessly you're going to have to do a lot of blending totally okay that's what life's all about, right guys? Blending. Bring it up into that crease. And you can make it kind of high. That's totally okay. But I guess you want to make sure you also adhere it to your eye shape as well. So I'm going to pick up a little bit more of that synth. Just start dabbing it first. Kind of pressing it into the skin first with that brush. And then buffing it out. Okay. Then I'm going to go in. Ooh, a little bit of fallout. It's all right. Then I'm going to go in here with Hyper Ballad. Which is this gorgeous turquoise gorgeous gorgeous turquoise and we're actually going to pretty much just buff it right on top of where we did synth just to create some depth give it a little more of like a turquoise to aqua transition as opposed to just one flat color Ooh, girl i'm loving this Ew. oh god they're beautiful they really are they're just beautiful so then, kind of just to keep this effect going, we're going to go in with, we're going to go in with, we're going to use Misfit right here. And that is the middle of the green shades. It's like a true Kelly green, almost chartreuse-like. And you're actually just going to tap and press this right onto the lid, kind of starting a third of the way into the eyelid, and then bringing it into that turquoise blue color. And just pick up a little more if you need to. I will say though, for like purely pigmented colors, these shadows, not only are they incredible, but there's not a lot of fallout from my brush on my skin. I'm just taking that fluffy shader brush again and blending that outer corner with the green. So it's not like a stop of green and then the blue just blends better together. Excuse me. Then we're going to use vinyl right here. So that is like your true, true chartreuse. It's a really nice pop of green. And we're just going to layer that right on top of the Misfit that we used for, again, some added dimension. Make it a little bit brighter. And notice a lot of the times I'm kind of packing first and then swiping, or I'm just packing and not swiping at all. It seems to lay the product down better. And then go back again in with your crease brush or your shader brush and give it a good back and forth and a good blend. What is it with like eye boogies when you're trying to do like a dope look? There we go. Yeah, 
So then I'm just going to actually clean off my brush. These are so pigmented that it's almost like it stains your brush. So make sure if you need, use the same like MAC 242, you know, any synthetic or shader brushes kind of thing, flat brushes, just to clean in between to make sure that your brush is uh, not picking up other colors and then meshing them together wrong, wrongfully, incorrectly. We're going to use Fran, Tran, Fran, Fran. Tran? I'm not sure what, it's Tran or Fran, I'm not sure which one it is, but it is maybe the most pigmented yellow I've worked with, aside from the, that MAC Playland collection, those loose pigments, that yellow is really good, but this is a beautiful yellow, and I'm going to just do this as our inner corner, and then pat and bring it into the green. Don't worry so much about bringing it down in the tear duct, like underneath area, but just that inner corner and then back up into the lid. That's where that yellow is most important. Look how pretty. And then I actually bring it up into my lid a little bit here just to give a nice little mesh, little transition. Mm. So then I have my, uh, this is what my Sigma E35, so it's a little bit of a bigger blending brush. And I just actually use it to blend in that inner corner right there a little bit. Yeah, again. Everything is seamless. So, so far that's the eye look. And then we want to go in with the bottom too. Get that bottom done. Oh, you know what? Before I do the bottom, I'm going to actually take a little bit of dark wave right here on my pencil brush from MAC. And I'm actually going to just deepen up that outer corner just a smidgen. Yeah. See that? I know it looks really outrageous with the blue, like before there's liner and lashes, but trust me, it's just a really nice blown out look. It's going to all come together. It's going to look good. Here's some black liner and just actually do the lashes underneath here and then hit my waterline as well. Can you wear contacts that like... <laughs> then I'm going to use it's kind of hard to read when it kind of like circles around here but Anthem right here pick that up on my shader brush beautiful purple absolutely gorgeous beautiful beautiful and we're gonna go right in along that bottom lash line Ooh. and then right here in the outer corner you can kind of pick up and pull it back just so it kind of blends in here a little better. Yeah. Mm. Last color in the palette I'm going to use is this color right here. It's called Lyric. It's a really pretty champagne. Almost with kind of an iridescence to it, but not a lot. And I'm going to actually use that to um, shade under the brow. Okay, so that completes the eyeshadows that you're going to use in this look. Um, where did my liner go? Oh, okay. So then I'm going to go in. This is actually the Kat Von D Trooper liner. I love this Wicked liner. You see me use it in my videos all the time if you um, watch my channel a lot. But I'm not going to do a wing or anything. I'm just going to take this and create a tight line on the lashes so that when we set down the lashes, there's no separation, obviously. Part I can never talk on, so I'm sorry about the awkward silence. <laughs> but I feel like when you're doing that part of your eye, you can't be like, "Hi, hi, hi, hi," because then I would be drawing all over my eye. A little mascara, just to make sure that our lashes are the same color as our falsies. You guys know the drill. This is actually the um. I pronounced it wrong. Apparently it's man manga, manga, whatever. It's that mascara that I just bought from my Ulta haul. And I don't hate it. Is it my favorite? No, but I don't hate it. And just coat those lashes. Then I'm going to go put on these lashes. I already have one on. This is the Vegas May collection and this is in the One Shining Star. Okay, so that's the finished eye look. 
or the look completed with the lashes, I should say. And then I'm just gonna put some mascara right on that bottom lash just to complete the bottom of the eye. So I'm gonna go back in with that same uh, manga, manga, whatever the heck it is, and I'm just gonna coat that lower lash. Again, another thing that I can't talk through. Sorry. What can you do? <laughs> that was a weird laugh. That was kind of odd. And I am just going to do um, the rest of my face. I'm going to take my tapered highlighting brush from Sigma and I'm just going to kind of press that banana powder in and then sweep it away. Press and sweep it away. God, it is. Mm, okay. It is go time, kids. And we're going to sweep away our powder from down here too. My pillow sliding, sorry. Okay, so I'm going to use MAC Lovejoy blush. I love this mineralized blush. It's probably my favorite of the mineralized blushes. I'm just going to sweep that on my cheeks right back into that contour. And then kind of buff it into that contour. And then right on the apples, do a little dusting. Yeah. Yay. Oh, God, I love this blush. I love it. Good stuff. So then I'm going to do a fun little cocktail of highlights today, and I'm actually going to combine two of them. So I'm going to take my uh, little doohickey here. This is a fan brush from Morphe. Thank you. That took me a second. I'm going to use, first and foremost, Riviera from Anastasia Beverly Hills. I'm going to put that right on that brush. We're just going to hit the cheekbones. This has some cool and some warm tones in the eye um, look, so I wanted to make sure that I picked a highlight that really complemented that. So anything too gold or too peach I felt wasn't the right choice just for this eye look. Oof. Oh, good. Okay. We'll blend that out in a minute. <laughs> and then I'm going to actually hit right up here above the brow. Nose. Cupid's bow. And chin. So then I'm going to use Bobbi Brown's highlight. This is Pink Glow. I have the bronze glow, which I love too, but I haven't tried the pink glow yet on my face, so I figured, you know, we're gonna use it. So I'm just swiping that same brush, and I'm just going to hit. Oh, pretty. Everywhere that I want a highlight. Pretty. So, last but not least, I'm going to go in and do my lips. I'm going to go in and do my lips. My chapped, crusty, fall into winter lips. I'm going to use Max Whirl Lip Liner. Going with that first. And I'm going to use a liquid lipstick, so I'm going to line my entire lip, not just the outline. Okay, so I'm gonna go in with the Kat Von D liquid lipstick in Lolita and just apply this everywhere. Mm, so pretty. Let that dry for a minute just because it's a liquid lip. Spray your face, don't forget. Don't you dare forget that step. And we're done! Yay! I really hope you guys liked this look. This was fun. I liked doing the walkthrough. I liked kind of cutting out the middleman and not doing my foundation and concealer. This palette is amazing. I think I might do a second eye look. Why not? But this was the first time me ever even touching or opening the palette to do an eye look, so I was really excited about it. Hope you guys enjoy it. I hope it's not too difficult for you. It's really not that hard. Just break it down into steps and it's really just going to be a super simple, easy way. Just blend and you're ready to go. I promise, okay? Let me know what you guys want to see next too. Um, I think I'm going to do something fun for holiday sooner rather than later because why not? Um, yeah, it won't be an actual tutorial but it'll be a fun like chitty chat thing. You guys will enjoy it. I know you will. Uh, let me know though and I will talk to you guys soon. Connect with me on Twitter if you have any questions there. I've been really into Twitter lately again kind of a nostalgic thing, I guess. And uh, yeah, I'll talk to you guys soon, okay? Bye.